Hello, this is a video about components in Vue.js. Components are reusable view instances. We will see what's a component with an example. Last time we have created a post. What we do if we want to add posts? We can, for example, duplicate the code. I'm gonna remove this title. I'm gonna use a different picture for the second post. Now, picture is an array, I can use indexes. Watch carefully what will happen if I add a comment. A comment was added to post 1 and post 2. We have to change our data and our methods to resolve this problem. This is complicated. The simplest way to add post is to use component. We create a component before mounting the app. To create a component, we use name of app dot component parenthesis. First parameter is the name of the component. I'm gonna call it view post. Second parameter is an object. We can add template to this object to write HTML code. Let's add a div. This is a component. To use component in HTML, we write its name like we write an HTML element. You can see on browser, this is a component. We can use component many times we want. I'm gonna keep two for the moment. I am using an extension to highlight HTML code in JavaScript. The name of this extension is ES6 string HTML. You can see examples how to use it. We can add data to our component. I'm gonna create an object for data. I'm gonna create a variable greeting hello. We can use this variable the same way as view app. We can add methods to component. For example, I'm going to create a method that returns the sum of 5 plus 7. I'm gonna use this method in template. Now we're gonna create the post. I'm gonna copy the HTML code of the post. I'm gonna pass this code to template. There are a lot of errors and it's normal. First, I'm gonna remove the index. I'm gonna add new comments and comments to the data of the component.
and I'm gonna create a method add comment. I'm gonna remove the variable picture and the vbind. We're gonna add pictures later. Let's add a comment to the first post. Like you see, the comment was added only to the first post. Same thing for the second post. We solved the problem with components. Now we will add images to posts. To use data of a view app or external data, we add props to our component. Props is a list. Inside the array, I'm gonna write the name of property. I'm gonna call it picture. I'm gonna add vbind and property picture to image. To use props, we write the name of properties in HTML and we give a value to this property. In this case, a path of image. Like you see on console, we have template and not the name of the component. I'm gonna change the width of text area. It was larger than the image. Now we will see how to use data of the app. It's pictures because we have now more than one picture. To bind the property picture with the array pictures, we use vbind and array plus the index of the image. I forget vbind. I'm gonna add margin bottom to bottom. I'm gonna add another image to the array pictures. I have a folder for images. I'm gonna add another post and I will use the new image. Like we have seen before, we can add comments to each post separately. We can use V4 to display posts. V4 picture in pictures. V bind picture, picture. Last thing, we will see how to use method of uh, the app. In data of the app, I'm gonna add variable notifications for a number of comments that the user didn't see I'm gonna add notifications to HTML I'm gonna create a method that update this number when somebody comments In methods of the app, I'm gonna create a function update notifications. This dot notifications plus plus. To use this method, we create an event in our component. This dot dollar emit name of the event send notification. The event in this example is adding a comment. I'm gonna add this event to view post. Add send notification equal update notifications.
let's see if it works I have to reload the page of course I'm adding a comment we can see that the number of notification is updated I'm gonna add a comment to the last post now the number of notification is 3 we can add another method to view app I want to reset the number of notifications on click I'm gonna call this method notification this dot notifications equal zero I'm gonna use the directive v on at click use the method notification I'm gonna add comments I'm gonna click on notifications now the number is zero This is the end of this video about components. Take care.